to God be all the glory. I want to do another another word by way of video blog for you guys. Uh, today, I was supposed to teach Sunday school, but because of the weather, they canceled church. Now, uh, don't tell anybody I said this, but they might be fair weather Christians. <laughs> now, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Now, the conditions outside were hazardous, so uh, we didn't have church. And uh, I was a little upset, you know what I'm saying, being that I wanted to, to teach a little bit of the Word of God on today. But uh, anyway, I'll just share it with the people out there on YouTube land or, or, or MySpace, wherever this video may show up at. Praise God. Uh, the lesson was coming from Matthew chapter 13, verses 54 through 58, praise God. And in your spare time, I'll let you read that, praise God. But what was happening here in this chat, this portion of the scripture, praise God, uh, we know Jesus was anointed by uh, the Holy Ghost to go forth and preach the gospel and to heal the sick, praise God. Now, Jesus, we know he was born in a stable in, in, in the little town of Bethlehem, and uh, his parents, they were all lowly, you know, they didn't have great riches and whatnot, have you know, he came in, he was born into a, a lowly a state, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, as he grew up, you know, the people they 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 noticed him and how he carried about his self and his his lifestyle along with his father in the carpentry business and whatnot. Have you know? And a uh, time came where he left his he left the city. Praise God! He left his family and he went out to preach the gospel. Praise God! Now, uh, the Bible talks about how he came back to his hometown uh, city. Praise God! To preach the gospel to them. Uh, and on the first occasion, on the first occasion, they rejected him. Praise God! Because they see. What happened was they they tried to take uh uh all the things that they knew about him from the past, praise God, and say that look he can't be our Messiah, he can't be our Messiah, he can't come to save us. This is Jesus. We know his brothers, we know his sisters, we know his parents, we know where he used to be. You know what I'm saying? But see uh uh what we ought to what we ought to take to uh to our thought, praise God, is that see God chooses us, praise God. He calls us out of sin, praise God. He calls out of sin and to his marvelous light to do a great work for him, praise God. And see, uh, when we accept that call in our life, praise God, we're going to go higher in Jesus Christ. And see, there's going to be a lot of people whose hearts are still hard, praise God, who have not accepted Jesus Christ, who are not allowed the Spirit of God to uh, move inside of them so that they can be opened up to the Word and to what Jesus can do to you. Uh, they rejected Jesus. They reject you too because now, see, uh, they're, they're they try to say that because of your previous lifestyle, praise God, your sinful old habits that you used to partake of, praise God, you can't be called to do this work of the Lord. But I come today, praise God, to tell you that the devil is a liar, praise God. Uh, for we know, praise God, that Jesus said that those who follow after him, praise God, who take up their cross and follow after him, praise God, uh, they will endure afflictions and persecutions, praise God, because they want to be like Jesus, because they're taking up their cross and following Jesus. But I come today Day, praise God, to encourage you, praise God, to don't worry about what people may say about you, because see, we serve a God, hallelujah, Jesus, that has forgiven us, he's just and willing to forgive us of our sins, praise God, and once God in heaven has forgiven us of our sins, we need not to worry what man may say about us, praise God, for we know, praise God, that there's only one judge on this earth, praise God, and that is earth, that is, that is God, praise God, in heaven, God is our only judge, man cannot judge you, don't let man try to condemn Damn you, praise God, because you are now a follower of Christ. Now, glory be to God. Now that you're on this part, on this path walking with Jesus Christ, uh, you're not going to go to places you used to go. You're not going to do the things you used to do, praise God. You're not going to talk the way you used to talk. You're not going to hang around the same kind of people you used to hang around, praise God. For now, praise God, you have, you have chosen to take a different route. And people may try and come against you for doing that, praise God, and say, oh, I remember when you used to do this. I remember when used to do that, praise God, but I come today to tell you the devil is a liar, for you are a new creature in Christ, praise God, behold, old things have passed away, and all things have become new, praise God, so I tell you right now, praise God, if you follow after Christ Jesus, and believe that that anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon you, it shall lead you and guide you into all righteousness, praise God, it shall give you a boldness to stand against those that want to come against you and judge you, praise God, because you are a child of God, they will want to persecute you, because because they have not allowed the Holy Ghost to prick their hearts so that they can get an understanding of the word, praise God. So don't be, don't be, uh, don't be, don't be profounded by, don't be, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Come with me now. Don't be, uh, 
moved up by them. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that discourage you, praise God. Don't let that discourage you from, uh, from doing what the Lord has set out for you to do, praise God. Don't let it, because see, don't, that person will miss out on their blessing because they don't want to receive the word that God has placed on your heart for you to share with them. And I'm beginning to realize this, praise God, with my own family members. You know, some of them, praise God, they don't want to uh, hear what I have to say, praise God, because their hearts are still hard. But I pray that the Holy Ghost will prick their hearts and cause them to be drawn to Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, praise God, I pray that today that you will just open up your heart because Jesus loves us all praise God he loves us and he wants us to all have this anointed on our lives to reach out and, and preach the gospel to others praise God but he can't work on somebody that has a hard heart we have to die to the flesh praise God and to those old worldly uh, things that we used to be conformed to you know what I'm saying if your if your brother or sister or somebody has now been anointed to uh, preach the word of God you know, don't don't persecute them. Don't reject them, praise God. Let them minister to you, praise God. Let them minister to you. So I pray that you've been encouraged. And uh, for those of you that are walking in your calling, you be encouraged too, praise God. Because we only have one judge, which is in heaven, praise God. And that is God, our, our Lord, our, our Father in heaven, praise God. So you be encouraged. I love you all, and thank you for your time.